I have been on the lookout for a set of chairs like this for some time. When I finally found it at a local thrift shop, I couldn't wait to get it. I plan on refinishing my existing table together with these chairs. I have already tested a color for the cane webbing and plan on doing the frames black as well as the legs of the table. Today I'm also doing a four wood finish on the tabletop. So there's a lot to do. Let's get started. Using a TSP solution, I gave these chairs a good scrubbing, making sure to get into all the little nooks and crannies. There were years of buildup. And then I busted out the hose and gave them a good shower. This was the quickest and easiest way to be sure I was starting with squeaky clean chairs. After giving them a second round of scrubbing, I made sure to dry them completely with a clean cloth and then left them out in the sun the rest of the day. Since I will be painting these chairs, I started by sanding the frames. Now, I'm doing this project in the middle of the summer and I live in South Florida, so this was a grind. As I sanded and sanded, I kept thinking, when will I ever finish? So I decided to speed things along by using a stripping gel to remove the varnish. In order to keep my sanity, I did half of each chair every other day or so between other projects. I'm doing this for myself so I have no real time constraints. Not sure if this ended up saving me time or energy, but since it was my first time using this particular stripper, I learned a lot in the process. I'll probably be doing a separate video and sharing more in-depth details of this experience. I'm certain it would help others. Once they were all done, I gave it a quick sanding, wiped it down and got it ready for painting. Before moving on, we took care of a much needed repair. One of the legs had a split, so we repaired it with some wood glue and a couple of screws for reinforcement. Now it's time to reupholster these seats. I'm using this 3 inch memory foam mattress topper. I figured I have it, I may as well use it. Since my daughter would be returning to her own apartment and not a dorm, she would no longer be needing it. With one of those old boards as a template, I marked about a half inch bigger around the perimeter and cut them with scissors. If you're trying this yourself, don't be too concerned if the edge is not completely straight. It doesn't matter, it's going to get covered with the fabric. Also, if you have one of those electric knives used for carving meat, that'll do a much better job, easier and faster. I like using Dacron wrapping over the seat cushions. It gives it a more rounded, professional look. I cut each piece, giving about three to four inches on each side. After stapling the layer with the Dacron, I cut off the excess and then added the fabric.
Now back outside to the heat. I decided on doing a bonding primer before painting these chairs. Looking at these two chairs, you can see that certain parts were stripped all the way down to bare wood and certain parts were not. Since I'm painting it black, if there's any bleed through, it probably won't show, but I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I wanna give these chairs the best adhesion possible and avoid any problems later on. Although this is another step, I think it would be worth it. In retrospect, I would have saved time using a clear shellac spray but this is what I had on hand. I pushed through and had them all done in one afternoon. Here's a tip if you ever have to paint webbing with a brush. Go in a circular motion and once you have finished on one side, immediately go to the back. You should have enough spilled over to just continue in a circular motion. After they had been completely dried, I gave it a light sanding and then sprayed both sides of the webbing using the color clamshell. Later on, I taped off those sections and got it ready for painting. I'm using a Wagner sprayer for the first time. After testing it out, I was on a roll. I was on the third chair and feeling the joy, but you won't believe what happened next. Yep, out of nowhere, a heavy downpour. After running with each chair to bring it in, I was soaked. Now to get started with the table. I started as usual with thoroughly cleaning, scuff sanding and priming with my usual bin shellac primer. This is a cheap table we've had for the last 10 years or so. We originally bought it for our home office, but when we moved to our current home, it became our dining table. Mostly because I just couldn't decide on what I wanted at the time. And from then it just kind of hung around. As I started working on it today, I was reflecting on all the memories with this table. Work and school projects, tutoring, homework, dinner parties, conversations, we did it all. Evidenced by all the scratches. Now to create new memories with a new look. I'm using a white satin finish paint and just adding about a teaspoon of this sample color. Apply two coats and let it completely dry before starting the finish. To create the wood look, I'm using Rust-Oleum Glaze in the color Java Brown. Back in my faux painting days, I used glaze a lot in just about every project. It gives you time to create your design without drying out too quickly. First, I apply the glaze with a deck staining brush. You can go as light or as dark as you wish. I'm using a silicone scrubber and sponge I picked up at the dollar store. You can use a brush or even a broom.
Here, I'm lifting off some of the glaze using the scrubber in long strokes, making sure to go the entire length of the table. I'm not going for a grainy look. This closely mimics a pottery barn finish. Next, I use the sponge in the same direction very lightly, applying no pressure. Since the glaze gives you time to work, you can keep going back and forth until you get the look you want. Starting light and adding more if you want to go darker. Once it was completely dry, I finished it off with a watered down paint, just to give it a more neutral tone. After a day or two, I was finally ready to load up the sprayer one more time with the black paint. After taping off the top, I painted the legs and finished up the chairs.
I honestly couldn't believe I was actually getting ready to apply a top coat. I'm not gonna lie, I dragged this project through the entire summer. So to see it finally come together was a relief. Through the heat and the rain, hours of either sanding or scrubbing, we can gather again as a family and create new memories. Always giving thanks to God the Father for everything. And that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments. Bye for now.